Hey there folks, Mark Johnson, tech-snobs.com. Today we got the brand new uh, iPod Touch. This is the red model, uh, fifth generation. Looking forward to checking this out. Um, you know, obviously the, it's definitely a niche market now. I think, you know, just iPod in general, as far as the brand, you know, with so many people buying phones. But, uh, you know, definitely interested to see how these uh, new iPod Touches uh, pan out. Definitely nice packaging as always you know from Apple and uh, see if we can get into this and check this out um, so this one is a 32 gig model um, and definitely it's kinda what's interesting about it is it's actually got specs from the iPhone 4 the iPhone 4s and the iPhone 5 so that's definitely pretty cool Definitely pretty nice, nice, nice packaging here. It's definitely, uh, like I can figure out how to get the thing out. So that's pretty cool. Pulls right off the top. Let's see what else we got here. Made in California. This is pretty cool here. This is a you know a product red product. Um, you do tend to see these, uh, you know, with some of their other cases and so forth. Of course, you got the the ear pods. You have this little lanyard thing, which I know goes on the back. So that's pretty cool. So let's just get this thing on out. And here's the product itself. Uh, definitely, I'm going to power this up. Very thin. Um, and I like the, the back and it reminds me a lot of the iPhone 5 and let's go ahead and compare that to it um, both of these devices thin you can definitely see how the, the new iPod Touch is thinner but um, definitely both pretty cool so basically it has the same screen as the iPhone 5 and then the actual camera is the same as the iPhone 4 but it's a little bit better quality uh, from what I understand, and then you also have the the innards of the iPhone 4s. So definitely going to be a unique product. I'm gonna get around and play with it, take some shots. Um, let's see if we can get in here and see. See if we can skip to this. Uh, probably. Let me see. If I, oh, actually, it has the new wireless. Let me connect to this Wi-Fi real quick. You can actually. Um, excuse me, with this product connect to uh, wireless and 5 gigahertz networks. So that's actually pretty cool. Some of the, you know, that we did start seeing that with the 5. And we also saw that with, um, you know, the newer iPad as well. So we're just going to do setup as new. We're going to skip that for now. Skip. And there's our good old terms and conditions. Of course, we'll accept that. Cool, nice. Got Siri on here. So honestly, from what I understand, and I'm gonna get you know get my own chance to play around. This is pretty much an iPhone 5 for the most part, uh, between the 4s and the 5. But basically, the, the the main thing missing from it is the fact that obviously there's no cellular radio, and there's no um, you know, and then the camera quality isn't quite as good. But basically, yeah, you got your passbook in here, you got your maps, uh, you got your FaceTime you know camera which is cool uh, and everything else is pretty much basic you know we'll go into settings and see how that looks yeah very looks just like the iPhone 5 in a lot of way a lot of nice features as far as that goes with the um, do not disturb and things of that sort of nature so overall it is really crazy how thin this thing is um, oh and then you push this down on the back the little button for this little lanyard piece and let's see if we can get this on there. So you got that. And then I assume you just push it back down. And then, so yeah, I guess this is to help you uh, not lose it. So, or let, not fall off your wrist. And honestly, something this, it feels definitely weird holding this. Because uh, it's so thin. Of course, it's got the lightning connector. And the speaker is only one speaker uh, grill on the right-hand side. So definitely, I'm sure the sound output wouldn't be as good as the new iPhone so definitely 
uh, some things to take notice of. I'll be back with more with a review and my thoughts on it. Uh, thanks for watching. Check the site out at tech-snobs.com. And uh, be sure to check me out on Twitter as well at, at a tech snob. Thanks for watching. Take care.